Good morning, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you a tour of Windhoek and uh, trust me it's windy so <laughs> it earns its name and uh, it's just a show of the town and the landmarks and just how beautiful the town is and how clean it is. Um, so I like it here and so let's see what I see. This here seems to be like a central area. The street I just came from has like this craft market and breweries place that people are hanging out. And behind me there's a KFC to eat your chicken. And on this side is a huge shopping mall with kind of all the shops you might need. And today seems a bit deserted because it's Sunday, <laughs> which is a good day for me to walk around. Also, you won't see so many people. But uh, still, if you want to come and hang out, then there are still places for you. I'm thinking probably on weekdays it will have more people. But essentially, this seems to be like the central location of everything that you might need around here. So there are banks, there are petrol stations, there are food places. And I think the train station and the bus stations are also close by. Independence Avenue divides the commercial side of the town and the historical side so commercial side is where we came from and historical side is where I'm gonna show you just now and also on that commercial side when you drive a little bit more you find Katutura which is one of the mostly populated neighborhoods in uh, Binduk that's very different so if you're ever there make sure you visit it's very different I was there but I couldn't take pictures sorry about that this clock tower is just a nice symbol and a nice meeting place and on weekdays you can get a lot of shops around here and it's just a central place to mark your way in the city and start the tour but that's not where I started. One of the landmarks at least from my google search is this park it's called the zoo park so people come here to sit around and just relax it's green nice there's a couple of landmarks built in i think 100 years ago or something like that and uh, it's just basically a place you can come to relax in the middle of cbd so it's a nice place i guess but right now it doesn't seem so good and at the gate there are some photographers trying to follow you around so i don't like that so if you want to relax maybe go to a cafe instead and but it's beautiful you can come here and take a look there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mountain And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise and Behind me is probably one of the most prominent landmarks on the Windhoek skyline so if you're seeing pictures of Windhoek you probably have seen this magnificent building it's a Lutheran church called Christus Kirche or Kirche I don't know it's spelled like that try to say it as <laughs> it's spelled and it's really magnificent it's closed so I don't know if they have services here because it's Sunday and it's closed there are no people around but it's still a beautiful sight and it's also like the mark I've been to Windhoek so I've officially been to Windhoek and on this street there is the National Museum there is the oldest fort Alte Feste and then there is the zoo is just right there so when you're here it's like a central place for all the must-see <laughs> touristy places in Windhoek and so you might want to check it out and when you're around and it's also very beautiful so a bonus
the Tintin Palace or the Ink Palace used uh, is just behind Christa's kitchen and it's really prominent as well and it was built as a German colonial administration headquarters back in like 1913 and it was called that because of the pen pushing that took place there so the Ink Palace <laughs> is kind of nice <laughs> yeah I think anyway um today it houses the national assembly and uh, what uh, what strikes me about this place is that it has this beautifully maintained garden and i think it used to be open to the public but maybe not anymore because the last time i was there the gates were open so i just walked in but there was nobody else there and it was on a sunday and also i saw a guard speaking to these people who are sitting down and they were like standing up and almost leaving so I am not sure if it's open to the public but for sure it's a nice place to go and see and possibly relax if you can. And here we have the Altefestic Fort which was built around 1890 and it's probably one of the oldest buildings in Windhoek because it was built just after some guy decided to shift his headquarters here and so yeah I'm standing it's 130 years old now <laughs> and I'm thinking some of these things were probably used back then these carriages before you had your cars and your whatever else is that you use <laughs> this is what was used so there is some encryption behind me which I'm pretty sure it's in German which I can't read but yeah this is one of the other landmarks in Windhoek but it's closed probably open on weekdays I don't know for sure but that's as far as I can go. Situated between the Christa sculpture and uh, all the Alte Feste is the National Museum which deviates from the architectural designs of the old colonial German period and to a more modern uh, style that is supposed to represent um, like modern post colonial independence and all that and it also has a statue of the first president Sam Nujoma who is holding a constitution looking overlooking Windhoek as a way to show independence and democracy and that is what this museum is about why I left it at the last point is because it is so amazing what you see when you get into the museum not the actual gallery it was closed so i didn't get to see that but when you get to the fifth floor it's like a tower overlooking the city and it is really really beautiful so if you're ever in Windhoek, just go to this building go to the elevator they're not charged to go there there's a restaurant at the top that apparently doesn't allow you to take pictures unless you buy something but i did so maybe you will too but even if you don't take pictures you'll be able to see the most amazing view of window you'll ever see trust me on that so on top of this building has to be one of the best views of the city from an up level so when you come to this building opposite the christ something church make sure you come opposite up to the fifth floor and see it because it's beautiful I hope you enjoyed this tour click on subscribe so that you see more videos from Namibia and everywhere else that I'll get to go and see you next time